you guys so vlogmas didn't go as planned i did like eight vlogs and i disappeared but yeah life happened today is christmas eve and i'm not alone i have two of my friends so let them introduce themselves hey jama <laughs> pali eunice napia i'm a kenyan here yeah she's a phd student in italy she has a youtube channel that is like less than a month old you guys go subscribe to her channel i'll leave the link <laughs> up here and also in the description box go 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 and go subscribe and subscribe subscribe, yes. subscribe subscribe yes and here is christine bonjour hi my name is christine <laughs> And um, welcome to the video, I guess. <laughs> yes, Christine is a teaching assistant here in France. She's Kenyan. Too. Yes, so, Kenyan. Yeah. Or Kenyan. Yes. Mambo, Sasa, Bibi. Yes, we <laughs> have Christmas holiday, festivities, yes. our kitchen, whatever we've been cooking. Uh, feel free to comment. Exactly. Yeah, so they'll be here with me for all another week. Yeah. So we are likely to be popping up here you know sometimes and also on her channel so yeah. you guys go check there okay so today we are making some kenyan meals we're making pilau today for dinner on christmas eve and tomorrow too we'll be making some kenyan meals and i'll vlog that too yeah so don't go away like subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you, you don't miss anything and today also we are making tiramisu italian dessert it's for tomorrow but you have to make it tonight I but am the special Italian I live in Italy. <laughs> <laughs> I live in Italy and yeah. it's the only Italian thing that I know how to make and I am very comfortable making yes. and I love it because it's very delicious. Anything sweet is my friend. So, yes. So I'm going to record everything including the whole recipe the steps. She's making pilau <laughs> here and excuse our very crowded uh, uh, table. She's making kachumbari. I think Salsa. That was yeah, it. Yeah, kachumbari. Yeah. yeah, she's making some salsa. Shiba. So after she cooked the onions that I showed you, she added the pilau masala, cooked it a little bit, and now she has added meat. The meat was boiled in here with some. We first cooked it using um, some onions, some ginger, and black pepper, and now she will use this uh, broth in here for the rice. Pilau is basically rice for those who don't know, those who are not Kenyan. Jollof long rice. Yeah. But so, beef. So the beef and then she will add some tomato paste. Okay. I just want to drink my rice. Maybe. And then Okay, on this side we have Christian, she's making the kachumbari or the salsa, tomatoes, onions, and then she'll add some avocado in, in there. I'm a very, very poor vlogger, <laughs> so she has added some tomato paste. I'll get the hang of this something. Don't worry. Be patient with me. Here we use uh, we use uh, what do you call it ancestors. Here we use ancestors weighing. <laughs> yeah. We normally we normally add until the ancestors tell you it's enough, my child. <laughs> we are not like oh two cups oh two spoons salt. Yes, and when it comes to Americans, is there an American here? <laughs> is like pounds an ounce to an ounce mm. <laughs> that thing is depressing yeah. adopt okay. the metric system and the the kilogram is what like everyone else what is happening there it's the well yeah anyway let's see let's see yeah. so add rice and mix
you, you fry until they start browning and mm. then you put the gravy. So now it's time to put the gravy. So we add the gravy in there. Okay, this is the only place where we don't listen to ancestors. <laughs> <laughs> Do you measure your water in the ratio of one to two with rice? Yeah, my rice is one, water is two. Yeah, ratio of one to two. And then you can see my mouth. Yep. But bado ikichemuka nyo. We wait until it boils fast and then we simmer. Yeah. can put full heat for now. Yep. And then when it boils, I'll simmer. For tiramisu, what we need, the basic ingredient we have, savoyadi, they call it lady fingers in Italy, and uh, all savoyadi, and then I don't know, in French they call it boom. Boudoir. Boudoir. <laughs> <laughs> they are just basically biscuits, and we will show you how they look like. You need mascarpone, which is just uh, is like cheese or uh, cream, this cream, white cream. Then you need eggs sugar and coffee and the coffee that you need is not as nice cafe coffee you need espresso coffee that's so it she has already made the coffee so yeah we didn't make the, it, it has to be cold it has to be cold yeah. coffee not hot so we yeah. made it early so that it can cool down yes yeah i'll write the ingredients for you in the description box so don't worry okay and for those who want to sophisticate things you can also add some vanilla essence <laughs> so have some vanilla essence for more flavor yes so let's get in yes
hello again so it's around 10 30 p.m we've had a very nice day like with the photo shoot i didn't tell you guys that we did some photo shoots with the the pjs i'll put some of the photos here for you to see and now we are taking a 10 or 10 p.m tea before we sleep yes Kenyan Kenyan. yeah Kenyan kenyans Chinese. love 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 tea, love tea. yeah so they are they are going to come here it's like let me show you <laughs> <laughs> so for me i'm meeting for two people so i need a, a, a bed a bedtime snack i need a, a snack before i sleep so i have all that to the snack and my tea is there at the corner. And now we are going to watch a Christmas movie to end the day. What's up you guys? And Merry, Merry, Merry Christmas. So it's finally Christmas. We are getting ready. It's around 9 a.m. Um, yesterday I told you that we'll be making Kenyan meals both for Christmas Eve and Christmas. Yesterday we made pilau and today we are eating chapati. Chapatis are a must have during Christmas in almost every Kenyan household. So yeah, so today we don't want to make too much food because in Kenya we'll find them making varieties. We don't want to make too much food, we'll just make chapati, some chicken stew. Then for starter we'll have pumpkin soup and the tiramisu we made yesterday will be our dessert but to start the day um we are making a breakfast so oat porridge we have oat porridge here and also kenyans know that for breakfast tea is a must have and we normally take white tea so yeah we'll take the porridge plus some nuts some plus some bananas I'll I'll show you the final thing and then for chapatis I've already prepared the dough anyone who would like to a recipe the chapat my chapati recipe because everyone makes them differently I have a video that I made last year I will leave the link in the description box so that you can go check it out it has like I made that uh, normally in Kenya we rarely measure <laughs> Maybe I mentioned that yesterday. We listened to ancestors, but with that one, I tried to get the ratios for you guys so that it would be easier for anyone who would like to try even the non Kenyans. They are really nice. I've not met a single person who doesn't like chapati, even non Africans. Like, yeah, they do like chapati, so you can go try it out. So, yeah, let's finish preparing breakfast and then. I'll come back. Hello again. So it's way, way, way later. I was not able to film as we were cooking because 
we were too busy and we were inviting someone around so we couldn't uh, you know delay we needed the food to be ready latest by 1 pm and here we are we are about to take the meals we have set the table we start with the the starter which is pumpkin soup or butternut soup she doesn't want to hear me say pumpkin <laughs> it's butternut soup yeah and then we continue with the other meals Eunice is here already Jack say hi to the blog <laughs> yes. yes so yeah welcome <laughs> And Christine, oh, say hi. Hi, Merry Christmas, guys. <laughs> So I'm showing my friends around Avignon and I've realized that this part where we are right now I've never showed it to you before. So in Avignon we have this river. It passes just nearby the city. It's called River Horn or if you pronounce it English way it's River Rhone and it flows to the Mediterranean Sea which is not far from here. So this is the bridge that crosses from the old city this is the old city that the one that has the wall and then it crosses this side to another department and then we have that bridge that I've never understood what happened while they were building it you see it's done halfway into the river it's called Pont d'Avignon it's one of the tourist sites around here I've never understood why they decided to leave it at that level and then what you can see over there with that tower and some uh, a statue at the top let me zoom in for you to see that's the pope's palace that i showed you the other time for those who have watched the previous uh, my other vlogs um yeah like i mentioned that vlog is used to be like avignon used to be a pope's place just a uh, pope city like vatican and that used used to be the pope's palace like you can see that whole thing up to to the end there like that's that's the whole thing now it just remains a tourist site and again you can see the wall again is uh, along along the city and then we have the boats and sometimes some of these boats are used as night clubs i've gone there in one of them where you have some musician playing or some band playing and then people just having fun it was it, it's really nice but i don't know if they operate them nowadays because of covid because i went there before covid so this is my friend Yuni's vlogging too so you guys go check out her channel like she shares uh, mostly travel vlogs and also academia stuff you know if you're interested in scholarships also you can follow her on instagram because she um she does share scholarships over there 
<laughs> so on the other side this is the, the river in the city and this on the other side we have kind of a restaurant and a camping site I don't I don't think it's really operating right now because of covid restrictions but yeah that's what we have on the opposite side and as you can see there are so many people walking around the river like you know people walk just to relax walking their dogs and such things this place is always quite busy especially in the evening there are always a lot of people around here and now we are at Palaidi Cup So here around this area is the garden, um, I know it doesn't look that nice because it's winter you know like with the, um, the shedding of the leaves and all that but yeah this place is normally nice during summer people come here to you know relax it's like uh, for those in Kenya it's like Huru Park and such gardens that we have back home you can see yeah like in summer you find way 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 so many people around this place the bridge pont d'avignon and the room yeah. and sometimes people like tourists do pay to go up the bridge to get a better view of I don't know. I've never been there, but yeah, I know people do pay like I think eight, eight or ten euros to go up that bridge. Maybe someday I will pay, and then I will tell you if it gives a nice view. But yes, that's it. And Lo Chateau, 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 Chateau is the castle. So. Uh, still on that garden, like you see, <laughs> this part is fenced, fenced, and then you have just a single bench here. It's for people who want to kiss and they want some privacy, you just come there, and yeah, but nothing beyond that. Okay, uh. The, with the river like you can see there is this section and there's another one like ahead so it comes it flows as one river because the Rhone originates in Switzerland around the Geneva area flows as one then somewhere around before it gets here it divides into two flows and then comes to rejoin again somewhere ahead so the land in between that section where the river divides is called the Isle de la Badelas in, in French, I don't know if I'm even pronouncing it well, or the Badelas uh, Island in English. We oui. yeah just a little bit so this thing over here like it has kind of a reservoir 
that like our water is a water that um, um, serves the city of Avenue. So we are back home. Uh, yeah, it's been a long and quite a busy day. We've not really rested because of the cooking and the promenade and what have you. So now we need to take a rest. And I'm going to end this vlog here. I really had, even though it was a busy day, it was an amazing day, especially because I wasn't alone and yeah. So I'm going to end this vlog here and I hope you had a nice Christmas too. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.